Good day, good day, good day. Sunday, uh, June 23rd, 2019. I'm doing another video on real estate. Um, I was just looking at some properties on LoopNet, and what I wanted to do was, you know, I have 20 or 30 different things going through my mind today. Um, dealing with properties. I'm always looking at properties. I'm always checking out new properties. So um, I'm checking out some properties in Cleveland and I don't know the Cleveland area, but anytime I see multiple units, 24 units at 13.67% cap rate, it gets me looking. And then I looked at the price in the 749,000 for 24 units. That's, mm, that's, that's a good deal. Um, so I checked it out. And I just wanted to share it all with you all, um, what I've been checking out. Um, like I said, it's 24 units. They're asking $749,000. i am not sure if there's any back taxes, but I don't believe so because this property is a Section 8 property. I'm going to scroll down on my screen a little bit and read you some of the sale notes. This property is uh, Section 8 rented. And um, I'll even read what it says. It says, Green Bridge Real Estate is proud to offer 24 unit Euclid Garden Apartments. Okay, they're asking uh, $749, which is about $31,000 per unit. It's a 15,000 square foot building. They're on a half, well, 0.45 of an acre. They had a new roof in 2012, new boiler in 2016, common areas renovated in 2016, and the net operating uh, capital for last year was 102 or 13.67% cap rate. They're asking $749, which I think is a steal. I think even if you have six forty nine and you go to them with that offer, of course you got to get it inspected, make sure all the mechanicals are right. But if they added a new boiler three years ago, if they put on a new roof about eight years ago, six to eight years ago, um, I think that you know the the building is up to date. And the reason I like the building is because it says thirteen of the twenty two units um, are currently occupied and leased in conjunction with section, excuse me, section eight housing assistance voucher based programs accounting for 50% of the current gross income. An opportunity to continue and accept housing vouchers to provide a stable and consistent tenant base with guaranteed rent payments. Come on, it's guaranteed section eight. And this isn't a bad building. So I'm gonna um, flip the screen around and let you all check it out. And then we can go from there. Okay, so this is the uh, Euclid Avenue or Euclid Apartments. This is the building. It's a brick building, you know, look like older windows. But other than that, um, the, the lot looks pretty clean. The uh, maintenance looks like it's up to date. Um, no busted out windows, no boarded up windows that I can see. Um, also, this is a view from across the street. It's a, a detached building, so it's not attached to any other buildings around it. Um, they have a good little parking area over here. And I see some cones, so it's probably saying, hey, this parking is precious. So if you park here and you're not a resident, you're going to get towed. Okay. Also, this is the front of the building. There goes the parking lot. So you can park in front of the building as well as on the side. Um, this is one of the house, the one of the units. It says sample living area. So somebody had this uh, property um, leased. It's leased up and uh, the tenant is probably kind of old because this is some old furniture. <laughs> Okay, all right, and this is a bedroom, no bed, but um, as you see, the TV and the uh, dresser over in the corner. The tiling looks old, the uh, the um, fixtures, which is right here, the, the handles and everything look pretty new. Sink looks pretty uh, new and durable, as well as the fixtures right there. So even though the tiling is old, uh, the everything else looks good. The tub looks refinished, so no you know cigarette burns. The counters, like I said, it's an older building, but the overall structure and everything looks good. This is where it's located on uh, Euclid Avenue. Um, back to the beginning picture. Um, but other than that, and like I said, it's 24 units. They're asking $749 for it. So I think it's a 